Hi, welcome to Noka County Library. My name is Carol Nelson, and I am here today to um, plant some seeds with you. We're going to do a STEM project um, at St. Francis Library. We have a garden there, and uh, we need to plant some seeds for that. And I thought we could do an experiment today about different kinds of soils and see how seeds grow in the different kinds of soils. So today for this experiment you'll need to have some containers you can decorate. Um, you can have uh, some water and we need soil and of course we need seeds. A ruler would be nice and also something to take and, and um, make holes in your containers so that there's some holes in the bottom so that the, the water can drain through when you water your seeds. We have um, numbers of different kinds of seeds today. We have some zinnia seeds, and we have some tomato seeds, and we have bean seeds, and marigold seeds. Here we also have some seeds that I take and um, gathered from just drying some seeds, which you can do too. I have a squash seed here that um, I dried and we have some little bit of seeds from a green pepper here. They're tiny. We have um, also we have a sunflower seed as you can see. So if you don't have seeds at home maybe you would have something like a sunflower seed. Or if you have a green pepper, you can take and dig up those seeds and dry them for a little bit also. Um, so these seeds here came from the extension agent from the University of Minnesota Extension Agencies. They uh, donated them to the library for us to use at the St. Francis Library Garden. So we want to thank them for that. Also, um, that when we get going on this project, I wanted to talk about the seeds. First of all, I was going to take and show you a bean seed. So I'll take a bean seed right here. Try to get it really close to you. So here is my bean seed. And I don't know if you can see that, but right in here, right underneath there, is where the embryo is formed. The whole outer part, the whole big body part of it is called the cotyledon. And then the coating all over the bean is called the seed coat. I'm over here showing that too. So the outside called the seed coat. The cotyledon in this right here is the part that feeds the seed and then also the embryo. Right there, as you can see, it's the beginning of the seed. As it germinates, it'll come on out and there'll be roots going down and the leaves going up. So to get started today, we have different kinds of soil. We have garden soil and we have potting soil and we have compost. Since we're doing an experiment, we're gonna try to make it all the same amount of dirt in each one. So we're gonna take and put dirt in this one has holes in it already, but another one we'll take and put the holes in so you can show you how to do that. You'll have an adult help you do that though. We don't want anybody stabbing themselves. So you'll need some adult help here. You can have different sizes of containers. Anything you have around the house will do. Plastic seems to work the best because you can stab a hole into them easier. There's that one. So this one right here is going to be our garden soil. This one's going to be our potting soil. As you can see, the soils are a little bit different. This one has a little texture with some roots in it too. It just happened to be there. Okay. A little bit 
more about the same there. Yep, that looks about the same. And this right here is our compost. The compost is formed by putting organic material and dirt together. And over time, organic materials like leaves or leftovers that you have left over from your your um, vegetables when you cut them up like an apple core or banana peels. These have a lot of leaves in them right here. Um, compost is lots of times taken and mixed in with the garden soil to help it to have some more nutrients because the nutrients get de depleted or they get used up. It's another word for that um, over time. So we have to replenish the soil with something from nutrients, something that feeds the plant. Okay, and that's about the same too. Okay, so again, I'll show you. Um, we have holes in the bottoms of these containers here. I can show you how to push a hole in another container. So I'm just going to take here. I'm um, going to have your adult do this and put it down and then stab the container. And now we go through. That's one. And there's two holes. And that way it can drain when you put water in. So our bean seeds, which are over here, and they have a package that tells you how to plant them. This one says that um, you should space them six inches apart when you put them out in your garden. And the seed depth should be one inch. So I have a ruler here to take and measure one inch. Here's my one inch mark right there. And I'm just going to stick it in here. We're going to dampen the soil just a little bit first. I'll be measuring the water when we do it since this is an experiment. And I'm going to take my ruler, go down about one inch, make sure I get my hole down there, okay. So I have my hole down in there, place the seed down in there, and then you just take and cover it up again. And give it just a hair a bit more water again. So both times, since this is, this is an experiment, I'm just putting in about 15 milliliters of water. Let it soak in. If you have a smaller container, you won't use this much water. And we'll put it there. And this one again will be the garden. So right there. Then we have the compost. Yep. I guess not the compost. We have the potting soil one. So I'm going to take and measure down one inch again. I'll make my hole one inch. I don't know if you can see this or not. I'll try to come over here and show you. That is about one inch in there. You can see that. My hole is one inch. And I'm going to take another bean seed and put it in just like that. I can show you that again too. Bring it over so you can see. See the little white bean seed in there? And then we're just going to cover it up. that, pat it down just a bit so it has nice contact. Come on over. And then let it down again. I forgot to put 
put the water in prior priors and I make sure I put the second 15 milliliters in there. Okay. And now for the compost. Show you over about an inch down. And take my other bean seed, put it in a hole. So you can see there's a lot of debris. In here, oops, it covered itself up really quickly. There, it's falling in there. So we're just gonna take and make sure that it gets pushed in really good. And I didn't put this, the moisture in again, all this does feel kind of moist already. And um, I'll take another 15 milliliters of water and put it in there. And have that and another 15. So they have all 30 inches or 30, 30 milliliters of water in our bean seeds. So we are going to be doing that. Um, also, I was going to show you one other thing about our um, bean seeds here. So if you want to take and dissect a bean seed, you can do that if you have one. You do need to soak it for a while to make it softer. But I was going to show you the seed coat over there on this bean seed. It kind of just get it to come, to rub it. There it comes. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's just a tiny, tiny, oops, tiny, tiny, tiny. See that right there? You see that little, that little itty bitty. Get more of it up. There we go. Get more of that up so you can see it. That's the seed coat right there on the bean seed. See that? Can you see that there? Anyway, after you soak this, you can take a sharp knife or have your adult take a sharp knife and cut it in half and then you can see the um, embryo, which is the beginning of the plant in there. And then also the cotyledon nourishes the seed while it takes and starts to germinate, which means starts to grow. Just to re recap our project here today, um, if you have been using older seeds, I recommend that you use more than one seed in your container. Space them apart just a little bit and um, have them at the same depth, of course, and um, plant and water as you did the one seed. Also, you want to make sure your seeds stay moist, so check on them daily and make sure they have uh, enough water in them. Don't overwater water them. We don't want them to get like drowned, but keep them moist. They also need to be kept warm, so find a good warm place for them to be. It also has a source of light and needs lights to grow also. So thank you for joining me today, and also I would like to have you know about different resources we have. We have a app called Cloud Library that has uh, different books on it. I found a number of books uh, searching for the word plant. A couple of the books that I did find were Amazing Plant Powers by Laureen Leedy and Andrew Sugar. 
and Lola Plants a Garden by Anna McQuinn. Also for the adults, I had the Book of Garden Projects by Whitney Conan and John Fisher. So uh, check those out if you would. And also on our Noka County Library website, we have a calendar. The more programming will be there and you can check those out and try different things there also. And also follow, um, come along and follow this project on Instagram and Facebook through Noka County Library as well. Thank you again for joining me today and we will see you later. Good day.